inside out grilled cheese. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, grilled cheese, I wasn't actually gonna do a grilled cheese. However, uh, I saw the Grill Dads. You follow the Grill Dads, CJ? I do, as a matter of fact. They're cool. If you don't follow the Grill Dads, go check them out. Uh, they did, I I wanna call it, it's kind of like an inside out, but they put peppers in a cheese crust. So I'm gonna do a slight variation on mine. Uh, now I do have some sourdough. I wanted to get the whole loaf so I can control how thick my slices are because I want this to be like the grilled cheese of grilled cheeses, the grilled cheeses of them all. So one ring to rule them all. Uh, so I've got pretty large, large slices. Now here's something I definitely like to do. I'm gonna put some butter on the griddle. I'm at like low, medium, medium low heat because I do. I'm gonna put a lot of cheese. And I want to give it a chance to evenly melt, right? Uh, so butter is gonna be first. Ooh, I might be a little hot. No, we're good. We're good. We're gonna cruise with it. Now this is something I like to do with a grilled cheese sandwich. I like to toast both sides. You've probably seen me do this in the past. I'm gonna start with toasting. No cheese yet, no cheese. When this is toasted, it's gonna take about two minutes or so. Then we're gonna flip, then we'll get to the cheese. Doesn't need to be a ton, just a light, a light toasting. Let me pull my knife over here so you can, like, listen, right? I am all about texture. So having that little bit of texture is where we wanna be with it. Uh, I'm gonna start with cheese, cheddar, please. Uh, let's just do one, one side. Now I am gonna add a decent amount here. So don't, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of the cheese. Uh, before I get to my mozzarella, I'm gonna add some Wickles pickles. If you've never had Wickles, it's hard to describe. CJ, how would you describe Wickles sandwich spread? It's like- uh, It's like a, almost like a relish. Tangy and delicious? And yeah, like an Italian style relish. Yeah, you got some heat. A little vinegar, a little heat. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Just a touch, we don't need a ton. I do this over the cheese because if we did it first, it might make our bread soggy and we've got texture. We've got texture for days. Uh, now I've got some copa. Uh, use anything that you like. You could use prosciutto if you wanted to, but I'm a big fan of copa. Just a couple of slices. Actually, let me know in the comments or if you add stuff to the griddled, griddled cheese, we're changing that name. If you add stuff, does it make it a melt? CJ, does it make That's it a melt? That's an ongoing question. Apparently, it makes it a melt. It technically does. More cheese. More cheese, oh, all the cheese. All right, now check it. Some falls off, it's all right, don't worry. I'm not gonna do what everyone thinks I'm gonna do. Long show, long show, long show. Long show. Uh, now we're gonna take toasted side down, flip it around this way, just like that. Love it, now we're gonna dome it. Uh, I'm using the dome. I wouldn't typically use the dome on a grilled cheese because it, it can get soggy and we're all about texture today. However, with that much cheese, we do want some texture. Uh, here is the part where Grilled Ads gave me some in inspiration. Inspiration. We're gonna do basically like an inside out with a jalapeno cheese crust. Did I show you this video, CJ? It's awesome. It's really, really cool. So I've got some jalapeno peppers. Uh, thinly sliced, and I've got some Parmesan uh, that I'm gonna grate. Essentially, we're, when this is like almost done, when the cheese is almost where we want it, we're gonna take the Parmesan and make a Parmesan jalapeno crust that goes on the outside. They didn't They didn't do this part. Like, they didn't have all the stuff in it, but I think this is gonna work. I feel like CJ. Never actually done this, but I, I feel, I feel good about it. Oh, yeah, let's do a flip real quick. Let's see, here we go. Oh, Oy. okay. Give it a press. Don't be afraid. Look at that cheese. That is fine. No problem whatsoever right there. Dumb. All right, let's come back in 60 seconds. See how we're looking. Okay. All right. Uh, if you want to, some of these little bits on the side, these cheesy bits, that we can get rid of them. We don't need those. However, this, oh, I'm saving that. That's coming to the cutting board. Uh, this right here, I want to get rid of that. I don't like that. I'm not, I love crispy cheese. I'm not worried about losing this little bit of crispy cheese, but I'm gonna add more. Wanna, oh, okay, okay. Just get a little excited. All right, now I've got my empty space here. I'm gonna take my Parmesan. I'm gonna make a nice little pile the size of our bread. Oh yeah, it smells so good. Now we didn't season anything, but the cheese does have a bit of saltiness in it. So we're gonna get a little bit of seasoning, which is nice. All right, now we're gonna go with, I'll see how many of these peppers we wanna do. 
This is how the Girl Dads did it, and I was a fan. So, let's do five. Does it look good, Ethan? Yeah. Looks good. All right, now the sandwich. Uh, this was the side it was just on. So let's flip it, and we'll go right on top. Just like that, dome. Leave it, don't touch it. We'll come back in 60 seconds. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The moment I've all been waiting for. Oh, I don't know, should I go, CJ, should I go gentle or just go for it? Just commit, dude. Commit? Just commit. I'm not wait, committing. Wait the situation. Oh, I'll wait for the reveal over here on the cutting board. All right, so if we did our job correctly, we should have, oh, magic. Whoa. So we've got, check it, crispy, crispy cheese. And then I'm gonna go with the bread knife so we don't mess up our height integrity. Oh, it's warm. Like, ha, like it was right on the griddle. Also, side note, let me know down in the comments, why has it always been called a grilled cheese when it's always done on a flat top, on a skillet, on a flat surface? Oh, it's warm. Oh, okay, all right, okay, check it. Oh my goodness, that. That's magical. We have the sauce on the inside. We have the two different cheeses. We have the crispy jalapeno crust on the top. I want to take a bite right now, but I'm not gonna. That's gonna be a bad choice. To be, I'm gonna give this a minute to cool off. Then I'll take a bite. Let's cool down just a little bit. I'm gonna cut this one in half again. Now, originally I wasn't gonna do the jalapeno peppers, but it just felt right. Felt like the thing to do after watching the grilled eyes do it. Uh, I always have my resident grilled cheese expert Come and check, check that out. I always have my resident grilled cheese expert uh, help. Uriah, come here, buddy. There's hot peppers on there and there's spicy stuff in there. Are you sure you want to try it? Sure. Okay, try that one. Take a small bite. We'll see how we did. Mm hmm. Mm. What's up? Really good. I need to get down here. Grilled cheese, cheers. Cheers. Mmm, the pepper's not too hot. Do that cheese pull again. We'll do it at the same time, ready? Take a bite and do the cheese pull. <laughs> it's kind of how, uh -huh. that's how grilled cheese should be. Hey, thanks for helping out. You want the rest of that? You can take it, go for it. There you go. Beard friendly, kid approved. If you're doing it for your kids, skip the uh, jalapeno pepper. But that cheese action on the top will totally work. That was a fun one. Uh, I feel like I was just playing with my flute, flute, my flute, playing with the flute today. Uh, there you go. Should we do more grilled cheeses, Andy? Absolutely. Maybe like uh, every couple of months, do another grilled cheese. I want to hear what you guys do in your grilled cheese. In the comments down below, what do you put in your grilled cheese? And because we added so much other stuff, does that technically classify? I can't even talk. So much cheese. Does it classify as a melt? since we added so much other stuff. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This is Cook, Eat, Repeat, where we like to help you become a better cook one recipe at a time. I'm your host, Chef Nathan Lippy, and I will see you all in the next episode.